so students please be with you and i'm going to start your today's lecture please take out your english books please take out your english books your lead pencils in your hand as well as, as, well as your diaries please take out these three things in your hand okay now take out the page number now take out the page number 31 from your books now take out the page number 31 from your books very good in the yesterday class in the yesterday class we all have done with the question answers probably you all have done these question and answers in your copies have you done these answers and questions on your without wasting the further more time if third july today and we are going to start with the literature part you need to take out the page number sorry here you only need to take out the page number 31 take out the page number 31 students take out the page number 31 okay let's start now today we are going to start with the word study as you can see on your books on the page number 31 there is a question that is named as the five and here the question is that word study body language what you need to do match a verb in blue in the extract with a description a and e as you can see on your abstract uh, sorry extract that is on page number 29 28 and 31 there are the some blue line words there are the some words who are written, which are written on the blue color with the blue color which you need to do you need to match the description of these word with the word that are given in your question as i am going to do for you so the first is you want to get somewhere fast what is its answer what is its answer please tell me the answer of it so the first is you want to get somewhere fast so the answer is hurry so the answer is hurry as you can see on the page number 30 there is a word written hurry with the blue color check out the extract number 5 the para number 5 jeff the new kid hurried alongside him hi said jeff so the answer of first is hurried write it down with your lead pencils on your books beta write it down with me on your books with your lead pencils next one is looking very intensely at someone or something so the answer is stared looking very intensely at someone or something so the answer again is on the page number 30 the abstract on the page number 30 the five abstract bradley stared at him in amusement jeff smiled 
hope so you all understand it what i am going to tell you now moving toward the next in a lot of countries you do this with your head if you want to say no so what you do with your head when you want to say no you shook your head look at the page number 29 uh, in the abstract number 2 there is written no i have been there the new kid said very quickly as he shook his head so the answer is shook Are you writing it with your lead pencils on your books? Show me the thumbs up sign if you are doing that. This is very good, beta. I I saw you that you are doing that work. Okay. Now moving towards the next one. Writing or drawing in an unclear way. Writing or drawing in an unclear way. so what will be the answer yes very good and i have the answer is scribble so the answer is scribble write it down on your books with pencil now move towards the next one and the last one you do this with your shoulders if you don't know the answer of something so what will be the answer the answer is shrugged the answer is shrugged hopefully you all have done that work now move toward the next question on the page number 31 that is pronunciation and silent letter you probably you all know that what are the silent silent mean khamosh it is a letter or the combination of the alphabet that is usually not pronounced in our world or in a in a whole world so this is known as this is known as what this is known as silent letter pronunciation as you can see the picture is telling you there are the some letter in the word that do not make sound and the letter that do not make sound are known as are known as silent words silent letter or the silent word can't hear while you say a sound they are only written they are only written in us in us in a word but they can't create any sound the spell tell us how we used we can say that there are the 100 years ago there is a uh, uh, spellings that are formed by these words but with the passage of the time the pronunciation is changed for example as you can see in the picture the word knock in the past people used to say the word with the k sound maybe out at the beginning so in the past people say knock with knock the that would be a very strange to us today aaj hamare yahan koi bachcha agar knock kahe to we feel it's very strange so the silent letter has an history behind them but now with the passage of the time we are we are very much familiar with the silent letter there are the some examples we have done for you as you can see on your screen subtil so here the b is silent caesars in caesars there is c is silent c there is no c sound in design there is no g sound so g is silent in listen there is no t t sound if we pronounce it with t to it become listen so listen is not a word not a word to pronounce and g in the thought so gh is a sound of the g that is not present in 
card. Now, you, as you can look on your books, they are the some words that are written with their pronunciation. Now, you need to mention it with your pen, uh, with your lead pencils. Okay, what are the silent letters here? Here I also tell you the pronunciation, what are the native pronunciation for this word. So the word island, the word is pronounced as island. And here the S sound is silent. Why? We listen. So in the listen, so in the listen, you can see that the T sound is silent. Couldn't. In the couldn't, the D sound is silent. In the Caesar, Caesar. In the Caesar, the C sound is uh, is silent. While in the walked, in the walked, L sound is silent. If we talk about the thought, as we already talked about, uh, talk about the thought, the G sound, G H sound is silent. Now you can write it down on your books. You only need to mention with your pencils that uh, you need to only underline. Here you need to underline the S, here you need to underline T, then D, then C, then K, and then GH. Only underline the words who have the silent sound. Next is the question number seven, values treating classmates fairly. So these are the some discussions question which you need to discuss with your partner and with your friend. The first question is, what problems does Bradley have in his class? So what kind of the problem does the Bradley is facing in his class? Can you answer me in chat box? What kind of the question, uh, what kind of the problems or the issues that the Bradley is facing in her class, in his class, sorry. He was shy, very good. Everyone ignore him. So I give you the answers. You all are right. I am, I am also giving you the answer that Bradley faces falling problems. He always sit alone in class because he was ignored or he was ignored in class. S. And the next is he sit at the last seat in the last row. That was also a problem. Then Mrs. Abel treat him like a mischievous student. Fourth one is no one in the class like to talk him. So these were all the problems that they are facing in uh, that the Bradley is facing in his class. Better these question and answer you need to write down on your English A copies. Only listen it with me right now. Okay, now the question is how could the teacher and other student help Bradley with his problem? How they can help him? So the answer is they could teach him. Uh, sorry, here the word should be treat, not teach. Sorry for the word teach. Here the word could be treat. I will, uh, I will, sorry students, I will write it down in a clear way then. Here, uh, they could treat him in a nice manner in a polite manner by listening his problems. Teachers should try to resolve the issues which Bradley is facing in school. If the teacher would try to resolve the problems, then the student will perform in the better way. As you can understand this thing very much. If your teacher is cooperative, you can do the things in a very greater way. Am I right? So the last question is, why do you think the effect on bread, uh, what do you think the effect on Bradley? Bradley pe kis tarah ka effect hua? Hoga. So kis cheez ka? 
if the teacher try to understand and resolve the problems of the bradley it create a good impact on his mind if her, his teacher help him and understand him then he will feel better maybe he will try to act nicely in class if the teacher will cooperate with him maybe he he himself would try to be cooperative and to be treat nicely in class he would be nice with other student if the her if his teacher help him to resolve his problems hopefully today's work is very much clear to you all if you have any question we have time you can ask me before that you need to write down in your diaries take out your diaries and note down your diaries then do the question number 5 the question number 5 that we have discussed the meaning of the words in your english b copies and do the question number 7 on your english a copies hopefully this 